G'day folks, um, got a bit of a banger for you. We have got a very, very sexy tool. Yes. Um, this is Ego's 18 inch uh, chainsaw, CS 1800. Yes. Yeah, 45 centimeter or 18 inch. Um, are we allowed to say it's a big, uh, like it's a beast already or we, do we have to pretend we don't know? No, no, we don't do intros anymore. This is just the talk. Okay, cool. It's, <laughs> it's stinking cool. It is, it's a good tool. Um, so first of all, you'll notice We've got some social distancing going on here. Yeah, I've had enough of him. Maybe you shouldn't even be in the same shed, but, you know. Potentially. Whatever. With what's going on at the world just, right just now. Just a bit. Where, okay, I'm going to go a bit, bit further that way. Um, so this is uh, Ego's latest and greatest chainsaw. Yep. Only came out in Australia in March. Yep. So we're pretty fresh off the press. Yes. Ego looked after us and got us this back in about October, I think. Yeah, so we weren't allowed to put any photos or videos of it at first. Yep. but used a, a stack up at work I did mm. uh, and we may have had a sneaky little comparison yeah that is the would, couple of videos ago yeah you would have already seen that and yes. this one it did take our pick for yep. uh, well certainly the most powerful chainsaw yeah 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 uh, very very impressive one thing we did have to note on the comparison and we'll also note here when we did a couple of the key tests we did have a non-genuine chain on it it was from a chain store not chain yeah. store Mower store. Yeah. Um, this chain is super impressive, but even before that, you pick this thing up, and as soon as you start cutting, she's Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. So we've had a we've had every Ego chainsaw. Yep. They're 14 inch brushed. They're yep. 16 inch brushless. Now they're 18 inch brushless. Yep. They've really upped the ante on this this beast. Yeah. Well, what did you say? Six and a half thousand RPM for the 16 inch. 68, I think it was. 68. And now this is ten and a half thousand RPM. Yep. Or would you say? Or 20 meters a second chain speed. 20, which is fast. Like, I think the Flexi was, the old Flex was 15 or thereabouts. Which was sort of the, the most powerful we'd used to date. Yep. Um, so you think about the RPM difference. Not only is this much faster RPM, probably 50% boost. Yep. But also, it's on a longer chain. Yes. So, yep. Higher RPM on a longer bar yep. contributes to that massive chain speed that you're getting on this, which is why it's just a cracking tool. It is an absolute weapon. Um, please do yourself a favor, watch this through, hit like, hit subscribe, all that crap. Yeah. But go back and check out the comparison. We don't muck around with just doing plain pine logs and that sort of stuff. We don't no. do junk. We do Australian hardwoods and stringy barks that are absolutely legit hard timbers. Yeah, they are. And uh we, in that comparo, tested this against a 32cc still mini yep. boss. Yep. Is that what it's called? Mini boss? Yeah, mini boss. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. And uh, this went pretty much toe to toe with it. Yep. Granted, with the cordless saw, if it bogs down a bit, this will cut out. Yep. To protect itself. Yep. Whereas the petrol, the petrol will just, petrol and will just keep going through. Yep. So, over a lot of runs, eventually the petrol is going to gonna pull ahead because you'll get cut out occasionally with a cordless chainsaw. Yeah. But, Speed for speed. Yep. Or if you took this in a, into a, a tree to pine sleepers or whatever, where yep. it's never going to cut out, this will absolutely keep up. 100% with that 32cc unit. Yep. Which we think is quite impressive. Yeah. Very, very cool. The the only thing that doesn't excite me, to be honest, is the light. <laughs> I, I don't actually know why. Maybe in low light conditions it would help. Yep. But to be honest, I couldn't give two stuffs if it's got a light on it. I actually don't mind it as a... Um, well, for instance, one of the uses of a chainsaw for me... Ooh, look, it's got two settings. Um, still, still not excited. <laughs> so I like... Because um, I live in the bush now, and so I've always got the fire going. Yep. Um, so having one of these in the car, being able to stop and just chop up, you know, some a branch that's come down somewhere. Take oh, out the yeah. firewood. In, at dusk when you're driving home. Yep. Environmental right. vandal. Exactly. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm cleaning it up to stop the bushfires. Good idea. Yep. So that little light might actually come in handy for that sort yeah. of stuff. It's not it's not for an arborist, not for a tree lopper. Yeah. Um, but you know, for You won't sell me on the fact that it's exciting, but no, I no, suppose no, not in exciting, that case but useful. Probably potentially useful, yes. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we do need to talk about, and I don't know if it's called auto tensioner or not, but don't be trying to look for the spanner and all the rest of it to tighten the chain. This Jigger Ego for ages has had the loosen, dial, so toolless chain tensioner yeah this thing is all in one you literally back that thing off and you've got your loose chain it's not loosening the nut off and then use a dial here so it's an auto tension as such 
nip it up, you get nice and tight there, and you're about right. Obviously, after your chain's been used, it's hot, always loosen it off so it doesn't stretch your chain. But that is stinking cool. Now, don't message us and say, oh, it'll come loose. Like, Bullcrap, it hasn't. The, the 16 inch chainsaw, people always said, oh, it'll rattle loose, it's not as good as a spanner. Yeah, it is. It's as good as, we've had no issues with that. Yep. Um, so I, I backed it in every day. Ego finds these little things and the idea of toolless and that sort of stuff and these little, they do some cool stuff and that, it's a banger. I really like it. Yep. Any oil leakage on this baby? No, next to none. So, which, the funny thing is. This though, one sprayed a lot of oil out though, didn't it? That's true. So I don't know whether the viscosity of the bar oil that we use was a little thin, but I certainly noticed on this one, it, it hooked a fair bit of oil around as in when you were using it. Even back on the actual body of the um, chainsaw, didn't it? It seemed, yeah, it seemed to be around here. So whether it was hitting the, the bark and spraying back, there was that much coming out. It didn't seem to use an excessive amount, okay. but I noted to you at the time in the chainsaw comparison yep. that there was quite a bit of oil splatter here. Yeah. So. Uh, some other basic things, you've got your standard um, chain break, chain break. Yep. you don't have an on and off button which we quite like because there's enough things already on this, you've uh, got the chain break, yep. you've got your safety, then you can pull the trigger yep. if you've already got your battery in. Yeah, you do not us. need another button to say please let me do chain break and safety and pull trigger. But anyway, some are going that way, you haven't as yet so yep. that's good. Yeah, um, it's cool. What's a warrant on these suckers now, I forget. Ooh. So you put me on the spot. Okay, I'm he's going to annotate that. Yeah. <laughs> One day we're going to learn. Yeah. Um, what about the cost? Any idea? I'm going to say no idea. Okay, that's very, very insightful. We've really, okay. we've really looked after our, you know, our watches, making sure that we've got the value proposition. Well, the thing is, in a couple of weeks, you're going to annotate this and have it up. So we're going to give you live information almost. Oh, that's good. So <laughs> make sure you don't forget to annotate it. Okay. Um, 4.4 kilos without a battery. Yep. Um, I think probably a 5 amp hour battery is, we've got a 7.5 on at the moment. Yep. 5 amp hour is probably what you'd get in a kit if you bought this. Ah, uh, yes. Um, what's yep. the second, what, way, maybe a kilo and a half for a 5 or yeah, something? Yeah, think about that. Something about that. Yeah, so you might end up with about five. 6 kilos, I reckon. Yep. This certainly didn't feel heavy compared to others. Like we had, well, we have 7, 8, 9 chainsaws on the comparison. Yep. And we didn't pick this up and go, oh, it's, it's heavy or gangly. No, no, it was good. It was super cool. And because it went through stuff so fast, ooh, you also. Yeah, yeah, yep. I don't think either of Chain uh, Ego's previous models has has metal teeth. No, that's true. I don't no, know what true, you right? actually call that. Maybe it's metal teeth. No, that's right. So ordinarily, it's just got the plastic part. Yeah. This has actually got metal, and I think the 16 inch had enough power that you could actually dig it in a little bit and actually use the chainsaw the way you should be able. Certainly can. Yeah. So many of the cordless ones just have flat plastic, and it's actually annoying when you really want to hook into mm. something, mm. and this has the ability to. So that's that's super cool. Very good. So. Right, well, I think we've yacked on long enough. It's yep. a chainsaw, it cuts wood, Yep. it does it quite quickly. Yep. It's probably the most powerful, or definitely thereabouts, yes. cordless on the market. Yep. Starting to catch up to petrol units. They, they certainly are, um, and if you're still going to sit there and, and trial us and say, nah, they're rubbish, they're they are starting to keep up with the smaller units. I don't believe it's near a 40cc like some other no. cordless brands go, oh, it's equivalent to a 40cc. I call bull, but around the 32cc, they're getting close. And that, that's, I reckon mean, that's wicked. Yeah, that's really good. Anything you don't like about it? Uh, just the light. <laughs> just the light. <laughs> so they're giving you a feature and that's a, that's a, a con for you. Yeah, it's a negative for me, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Well, yep. take that, there you go. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, please hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Yep. Hit us in the comments, tell us what you think. Cheers. Thanks, guys. See ya.